Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another mod that is very impressive for how it's all been set up and is very, very visually impressive when it activates. This is the Energy Blade Grinder, which are well these two things sitting right next to me in their small and large block versions, which don't really look too impressive with how they are right now. But if I was to say activate them, suddenly a giant energy blade just shoots out of them and while well, they'll grind through anything in a very short amount of time, much much quicker than the actual vanilla grinders, but they do come with less storage space than the traditional grinder, but that shouldn't really be too much of an issue at the end of the day. So what we're going to do is have a quick look around the outside of these, we're going to test them out, and then I'll showcase this little mech that I'm planning to use for my thumbnail for this video. This is simply a mech that I should have done a showcase on quite some time ago, I've refitted his arms, I've posed them, added on the small block grinders, and it should look rather spectacular. It will not work in survival mode like this because the energy blades do have quite a big area of effect on them. So as soon as I activate them, he is unfortunately going to get deconstructed. We'll see that a bit later on. But yes, for these energy blade grinders, you see me add them in through the mod menu. There's two versions of this mod. There's one that is evolved with the tier system. And there's one that you just plop into your world and use it whenever you want. So we're going to come over to this big one right here. And we're going to turn them off for the moment. There we are. And this is what we get. So the very bottom of this thing is basically just a general cargo container, where above that we then got a lovely section where the energy blade is going to come out. For this small circular section that sits on top of an access panel, we can just about make out the access panel on the bottom there, which has been slightly covered up by a few more silver tubes. If we were to move all the way up, there we are, we've got a lovely little pattern on the inside here, bit of a wibbly wobbly grey pattern, and then onto the side of this thing, just come all the way down it. Looks like we've got a bit of damage along the side there, could be a bit of decoration, but I think it's a bit of burn damage on the metal. And then down to the bottom here, there's an access panel for you to control it. If we come down underneath it, there's another connection point. The round towards the back should be the same as the front. And there we are. I'll activate it one more time. There goes the beam, instantly up, and that's what it looks like. We still get the grinding sound from the vanilla grinder, so you still get an audio cue that is activated, just in case you can't see it from, say, your vehicle or your ship's cockpit. Yes, we see a lovely little pattern going here in a bunch of light and dark yellows. Just comes all the way around on that circular part in the middle. If we put the camera all the way through on the middle here, it suddenly vanishes into nothingness, and you might be able to make out a little sparkle here and there as it moves the camera around, but it doesn't look like it wants to do it anymore. Anyway, pulling away, looking down, that is simply all it is. Then we move across to the small block version, which is very handy on the small block ship. So if you were to compare it to, say, the vanilla grinder, it's just one large block that's quite hard to fit on there, as opposed to this thing, which is very much like the reloadable rocket launcher. Anyway, back over to the platform, and have a look at this. So we've got three connection points on one side, over to this section, a singular, round towards the back, a large, and of course on this one will be another singular. Coming all the way down, you guess it, another singular. Then moving all the way up, we've got another little circular pattern there where our blade's going to shoot out, and a very similar system compared to the other one, we've got these little protruding spikes with the wibbly wobbly white and grey patterns. Down onto the side, we do not have the weird burn mark on the top, but as we come down to this more reflective metal, we then got a lovely purple version, that does look rather nice. We'll get a good close up of that, it's quite odd, it might be a flame, it could be even a very old tree, it's whatever you want to make of it. Anyway, down to the side, there we are, and of course activating it, that's simply what it looks like. It's got a really nice glow, especially for using a dark skybox like I am. It makes it look rather spectacular, especially from a distance. So you can see the yellow hue all the way around it. Anyway, turning that off, that's enough of that. Grabbing hold my character, not that character, this one will do. And coming into the G menu. What we've got to do is find the energy blaze in here, go through the course, and then we're going to actually test out on the small grinder. Then we'll go play around that mech on the back of the platform. So for the large block energy blade grinder, in fact we won't do that, I'll come and type in grinder into here if I can spell correctly, there we go so we can actually compare it, we see there there's the standard large block grinder, coming in at two computers, four motors, one large steel tube, 30 construction components and 20 steel plates. If we were to flip over to the large energy blade, it is quite a bit more expensive, so we've got 65 computers, 3 motors, 30 large steel tubes, 120 construction components and 445 steel plates, which is a hell of a lot more. Coming to the smaller ones, we'll switch over to this one. Moment, there we are. We see that it's very, very cheap, with the most expensive thing being 17 construction components. Then over to this one, switching into the small, we see that we still need 245 steel plates, 60 construction components, and 20 large steel tubes, 65 computers, and 3 motors. 
So it's a very expensive block, but like I said, it's very much warranted due to how powerful this thing is. But without further ado, it's time for me to grab hold of this, and it's time to turn it towards the platform, because we're now going to deconstruct it, and see how fast this goes. So making sure I'm on the correct tab, there we are. Now I'm going to come across to the vanilla grinder, so you can see how fast this is for a comparison. Bring it over, starting to grind it, and there we are, it's very slow, and we'll get the job done at the end of the day. But now we were to switch over to the energy blade, here we go. Now I'm going to move this thing forwards, and look at that go, it's a nice big area, very quick work on this platform, turning it around there, and it's basically more of a glorified weapon, which is why I had the idea of strapping them onto a mech. Go do it from first person view, here we go, we now see the blade stick out as soon as I click the button, moving all the way up to this, and there we are. Anyway, coming out of this and finding the actual grinders inside this. Here we go, so there's the energy blade coming in at 1687. There's the regular grinder coming in at 3375. So it does handle quite a lot less, but it shouldn't really too matter, like I said, if you have plenty of cargo space connected onto this. Anyway, moving away, it's time for me to hop out of this and bring in a large block version. So that's even more destructive. Then we use that against this small ship. Then we'll go to the end of the video for our Activate the Worlders of that mech. And that'll be that for this. And here we go, what I've done is strapped the large energy blade to the good old albatross. Bit overkill, but that was the only large bot ship I could find in a short amount of time. And here we go, angling the camera like so, coming over to here, and now clicking my mouse. And there we are, we now walk all the way up to it, and pierce it with the blade, slowly move it forwards. That's doing very short work, even though I think most of the damage came from me actually ramming it. But there we are, just one blade is very quick at deconstructing a small block grid, and if you have multiple of these strapped all together, then you're, well, you can make very quick work of any kind of pirate outpost. But without further ado, it's time for me to turn off this, because we no longer need that, there we are. It's time for me to come across over to this mech, which I have been planning to do a showcase on for quite some time now. It's a very popular one on the workshop. But yes, like I said at the start of the video, I've strapped on two small energy blades into his hand, tried to make it fit the model a bit more by adding on these little panels on the side. And I'll need to come across to the button panel right here, open that up, there we go, hopping inside, closing that down, making sure I'm getting the right one, I'm going to slowly lift away, but it does not matter. Angling the camera like so, pressing number five, hiding all of that, and here we go. And there we are, that's simply what it looks like. And it looks like I have positioned it correctly, that's not going to deconstruct it, which is very nice stuff. But yes, this does not function at all in actual gameplay. As soon as you move, as soon as you wobble, as soon as those arms touch those legs, which it will do when it starts to walk, it's well going to deconstruct itself, but it does look bloody awesome with how it's all been set up. And you could, if you want to build your own mech, strap these onto his arms and have a bit of fun with it. Maybe even make a static mech and use it to deconstruct grids instead of having a traditional deconstructing ship. But anyway, that is it for this video. There'll be a link to it in the description below to start and play around yourself, as well as a link to the mechs I'm currently using and, of course, the skybox I'm also using. I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.